to the company that wrapped this piece of junk skull battery. I what what are you doing? I mean, what the fuck? Hey all, it's Mooch. Welcome to the Battery Hall of Shame. <laughs> A series that should never have to happen. Today we're talking about the preposterous Skull branded 50 amp, 3400 milliampere hour 18650. Now normally I'd like to test the batteries uh, that I put into the Hall of Shame because it gives me a better idea of what cells they might actually be using and stuff like that. But I'm realizing that some of them are so ridiculously overrated that they can go into the Hall of Shame without any testing at all because they're impossible batteries. And this skull branded piece of garbage is one of them. 3400 milliampere hour with a 50 amp rating. Folks, that 50 amp rating is a lie. And I know some countries where this battery is really popular, Malaysia, maybe some other countries in Asia. 50 amp, that's impossible. That number was set in a marketing meeting. It was not set in a lab. It has nothing to do with reality. It's a number they picked out of thin air to say, okay, here's how we can compete or here's how we can outsell other batteries. There's no such thing as a 50 amp 18650 or 45 amp or 40 or even 35 amp. There is no 18650 rated over 30 amps. And that's the Samsung 20S at 30 amps or the LG HB24 or 6, which aren't very good performers. High current rating, but a lot of voltage sag. They're just not great cells compared to the Samsung 20S, which I recommend. The ultra high capacity 18650s, 3100 to 3600 milliampere hour, are rated 8 amp to 10 amp maximum. That doesn't mean they're rated 8 to 10. They're all rated 8 to 10 amp. They can be as low as 3 amps. So 3 amps to 10 amps for the 3100 to 3600 milliampere hour rated 18650s. And guess what? This piece of crap skull, 3400 milliampere hour, its maximum rating could be 10, but again, it could be three amps. This 50 amp rating is dangerous. It's almost short circuiting the battery. If you've got, let, let's, let's be generous and call it a 10 amp battery. It could be three, let's call it a 10 amp battery. We're five times the rating of the battery if they decide to do it at 50 amps. And let's say someone gets this battery and, and, and wants to be safe and only do it at only 40 amps. Okay, four times the rating for this battery. You might go 40 amps, Mooch. Come on, 40 amps isn't so bad. Lots of batteries can do 40 amps. No, this is the 10 amp battery and you're doing it 40. That's the same thing as doing the Samsung 20S at 120 amps, four times its rating. 50 amp rating is just flat out dangerous and let's say you're not worried about your safety you're like oh mooch you know i can take the chance or i know how to take care of myself the performance is going to suck at anything over if it is a 10 amp battery at anything over 10 15 amps if it's a 3 amp battery the performance is going to be crap at 8 amps or 10 amps skull or whoever wraps the skull battery you want to say i'm wrong prove it Prove you have a battery that no one else in the world can make. Show us the discharge graphs of 50 amps. Show us the performance in a laboratory setting. Tell us how you set that idiotic rating. 50 amps? But you know what? You can't and you won't because there's no way. Don't send me and don't post some useless video of somebody with a high power flashlight or vaping device making lots of vapor with the skull battery. That's useless. I can do that with a three amp rated battery. It doesn't show anything. Show us the graph, show us the test results. Tell us the criteria you use to set that rating. Look, we're all free to buy any battery we want. Just remember there are no miracle batteries. If you see a battery with 50, 60, 80, 100 amp rating, and everybody else has got 20 or 30 amp ratings, don't rush out and buy that high number battery. Immediately assume that's an exaggerated rating and do a little digging. Find out really what's going on with that battery. Something to remember is different capacities have different rating maximums. Namely, as the capacity goes up in general, the current rating goes down. So if you've got these ultra high capacity, 3100 to 3600 milliampere hour 18650s, they're gonna have the lowest ratings of all the 18650s. Now, I'm gonna show a table up on the screen here, but there's a link in the description section and just briefly go over 
what the maximums are for some different capacity ranges. Now, first most important thing, there is no 18650 rated over 30 amps. For capacities, there is no 18650 rated over 3600 milliampere hours. And really the highest is 3550, but everyone rounds it up to 3600. That's the Panasonic 18650G. It's the only one. Now from 3100 milliampere hour to 3600 milliampere hour, eight to 10 amps maximum, it can be three amps, maybe five amps. So don't say, oh, Moot said it's all those batteries are 10 amps. No, I didn't. The 3000 milliampere hour 18650s, maximum it can possibly be rated 15 amps to 20 amps. It can be a lot lower. For the 2100 to 2600 milliampere hour, maximum possible rating, 25 amps. That's it, 25, and it can be lower. Lower grade cells, crap, to crap batteries coming out of some small factory someplace. And then up to 2000 milliampere hour, the maximum rating possible is 30 amps, and that's only a couple of cells, Samsung 20S and the LG HB2, 4, and 6. And that's, those are the maximums. It cannot be higher than that. Now, those are the true continuous current ratings, and those are the only ones that count. Max ratings and pulse ratings are useless because we don't know how they set them. We can't compare one pulse rating to another one, and one max rating to another one. Go by the continuous current rating. That's going to be most reliable. It's an established standard and lets you compare one battery to another. And also, if there's ever a problem with the device and it continuously fires the battery, by using choosing a battery by its continuous current rating, you've got a little bit of a safety margin built in there. <sighs> Whatever company wrapped this damn skull battery just does not care. They don't care about your safety. They don't care about performance. So why buy this junk? Why support a company like this? A company that ha doesn't care about you at all. Why give them your money? There's so many other batteries we can choose from. Something to think about. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.